Yeah, hello there everybody. This is Delsa Tone, the Pony Pharmonics, and uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. Um, I just got back from BarneyCon, and I am going to be showing you guys a bit of a swag uh, video. Because uh, this is uh, my first time ever going to BarneyCon, and so it was, uh, it was honestly a lot of fun, but I feel, I don't know, I guess kind of semi-fulfilled because I there was so much more that I wanted to do but couldn't get to do. I guess that gives me a reason to go back next year, but uh, it was an amazing, uh, amazing trip. I don't didn't do any vlogging because I'm not that good with camera. Heck, you're seeing me holding up a, uh, just holding up my phone because I don't actually have a camera. Uh, so... Let's, uh, let's then go to some of the stuff that I managed to get at the con. Uh, first things first, I uh, managed to get this button. Why is this not focusing? Can I, can I get a focus, please? There we go. This button was actually from the uh, Hungry Soma and Bonzato uh, table, and they have, uh, their awesome people as always. Soma is definitely as adorable as uh, she is on, in her uh, in her persona. So uh, she's really sweet and I just had to get this one. It's just cute. Next up I uh, went to Lightning Bliss's table and picked up this keychain. Um, man this thing is not good at focusing today is it? Come on. Come on. There. So, Lightning Bliss's table was so hard to find because it was in a nook that was being shared on another table. I passed like four times before I actually found it. So, uh, yeah, maybe put better sign up or something in Lightning Bliss? I don't know. But in either case, this keychain was here and it's really cute. Uh, I ran into someone at the convention that I actually really wanted to. It, his name is Loquacious of Herd. Um, he is a very eloquent uh, reactor and reviewer, and uh, he is a, turns out to be just a uh, as much of a charm in real life as he is in his online persona. And uh, he shared, he gave me this button to give out, and uh, I'm really glad to have met him. It was, I had always wanted to discuss a couple of things with him at length, and it was uh, really great to talk to him. Okay, now let's get to some of the uh, other more interesting stories. I had gotten this uh, medal um, from a grab bag that. Come on, so focus. Okay, so th this thing is not uh, focusing to save its life. So I'm just gonna say it is a medal for Applejack is best pony. Um, so I've got this from a grab bag that uh, Sam Hot Lion and his wife had. So this. Uh, so apparently she bought this from Silver Slinger, and and this was in there, and she's not exactly a fan of a of Applejack. So I decided to uh, take it because she no one else at the table wanted it at the time. But uh, she also told me about uh, Silver Sterling and the fact that he is retiring. From all uh, from co conventions whatsoever, and he's a jeweler by trade. In fact, two of his uh, pieces sold at the auction for upwards of five thousand dollars each, and they were amazing. Um, so I actually picked up his very last grab bag. This thing was uh, apparently stuffed in a box that and he thought he was sold out on the first day, but I went there on the second day and this was the last one there. So let's go crack this open and see what's inside. Now just to let you know, I do had opened this before. So uh, what we have here is a 
mod alternate future dog tag. This thing is awesome. I definitely want to... Please excuse the kids outside. Um, this thing is awesome. I definitely want to put this on a uh, on a dog tag chain at some point. And look at that. There's a dog tag chain. Perfect. Let's see. This is an Ashi and Samurai Jack dog tag pendant. Pretty well cut, pretty artsy, I like that. And of course, a six star Dragon Ball. This here is a Pinkie Pie pinky ring with uh, the words laughter on it and the cutie mark. This now this is interesting. I thought this was like a glasses strap, but apparently it's uh, just a rubber bracelet that has three of the main six of the cutie marks. We've got Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and uh, that, and Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. Pinky's at the end there. We have a money clip uh, with Zakora on it, and it says on there. Money talks, you can't deny. Listen close, it says goodbye. And isn't that the truth of all money, huh? Especially at this convention. Um, here is a rarity arm bracelet. It's in the package at the moment, but it says I heart rarity on it. Uh, it's very difficult to see in this wrapping, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Speaking of rarity, I also have a rarity cutie mark zipper pull okay and um a wubba lubba dub dug rick and morty rick mm, not a fan of the show so um uh, this might go to someone else and this is another dog tag slash pendant of starlight glimmer in her um season six and seven hairdo that one is actually a very adorable pose. Not double-sided, though. And finally, we have this much larger Applejack is Best Pony. Now, this one is going to be going to a friend over uh, overseas. You might know him. His name is Johnny Fireflame. Now, Johnny is actually on vacation in the U.S. right now. But the thing is that he was just about two hours away from BronyCon, and it, I found it really a shame that he missed it. Kind of like a near-miss asteroid. Um, because this year was just an amazing year, especially for announcements and things like that. So this is gonna go to him once he gets back. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Okay, I got a Sunset Shimmer plus cutie mark. Dice bag for D and D dice, and as you can probably hear, got a dice set too. Orange ten is my favorite color. If you haven't figured out from the uh, for my OC, so I've never actually had a full dice set, and since I do play D and D now, I figured it would be a good idea to get one. Those, those percentage dice are look always look really weird to me because of uh, the way they're shaped. But I'm not complaining. Okay, let's um, let's get to some of the big stuff here. This poster right here, I loved this thing. I saw it hanging in the uh, uh, in the uh, art show, and I had to have it because it is Spike playing Spike from Cowboy Bebop in his most iconic scene in the series. And I loved it. And because Kathy Westlock, the voice of Spike, was there, I got her to sign it. Now, when she saw this, she went ahead and she actually tweeted, uh, took a picture of me with this signed and actually tweeted it out. And um, once I was able to find the artist's DA, I linked it in. in. So I'll, I'll show the Twitter if I can. 
on the last day of the con, there's always a couple, bunch of grab bags and stuff. And this one was uh, from the Midnight Premiere Table, and this is the um, this year's exclusive convention uh, convention art. As as Sweetie Belle as the lion for uh, uh, for Lionsgate Productions, and it's just adorable. And I love that they added both Babs and Gabby in here. So this is a great piece. I love it. Um, it came in this bag. Official nerd. Yeah, that 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 yeah that that works. What what are they trying to say with a sock though? What's up with this? But, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, inside here, um, there was a bonus item that I got from last year, which was their poster last time, sh shrunk down in postcard format, Twice Star Pictures. So I felt that was a good choice to round it out. I was able to ch pick uh, which one. This was actually a bonus prize. Um, inside here, we have... Um, the fidget spinner. Well, there's no accounting for taste. That's the fad this year, so whatever. It was, it's a grab bag. I'm not going to complain. We have a spike and ember pin. That's nice. What, we have? what else? A rarity mini button. And a Pastel Art Rainbow Dash. Very nice pieces. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Um, I think this is the, um, the Artist OC from Midnight Premiere. I'm not sure. But um, that, one's a, that one's a button size, but it's got a plastic backing to it. I don't know. Either way, it was pretty. Uh, I like these. These are pretty nice. Now, the next one has a bit of a weird story behind it. So, um, on the very last day of the con, during uh, closing ceremonies, I happened upon this box on the second floor, and as you can see, it is marked free stuff. So, um, there were four of these uh, trading card packs. I uh, opened one. I haven't uh, opened the other three yet. I'm thinking to do that in a little bit. Um, this Pie Sisters poster. Um, I'm not going to unfold the whole thing because, again, I'm holding a camera. So that won't work. And then there was this lunchbox. And inside of this lunchbox is an entire slew of the, of the trading card game. Um... I don't know how to play this, but I'm sure that I'll figure out how to learn because there are hundreds of cards in here. So I'm sure I'll figure something out with that. And last but not least, I got something else um, that was really, really unpredictable. Um, during my... Uh, on Monday, the day that I was going home, there was a scheduling issue with Greyhound, and I had to wait until like 4 or 5 o'clock before I could actually get on a bus to head home. However, one of the security guards for the convention got screwed even further by these guys, and in an absolutely horrible and dis disgusting move on their part, they accused him of being drunk and having his um, having his ticket transferred, but the thing is he had never had that done. Plus, he couldn't drink because he was security. And it took them 21 hours, 21 hours, before that they, uh, he could actually get a ticket to go home. And at that point, he was just flat broke. And the way, I would say at this point, do not use Greyhound. At least, do not use the Baltimore Greyhound station. 
because the people there are extremely poor for customer service, their Wi-Fi doesn't work, their staff is extremely unorganized, it's it's a real mess, I will never be using them again, It I am absolutely disgusted by them, and I believe he is going to be suing them, so that's something else. But in because of the way uh, he was treated and what he was dealing with, I shared my uh my meal with him so um in return he gave me this brony palooza poster which has all the features of all the people that were featured in the sets now i did not go to brony palooza so this was just a spare that he happened to have and he gave it to me so yeah this is a very nice poster. I want to... I want to say I really appreciate it, and I hope you made it uh, safe back home. Alright, that's pretty much it. There's not really anything else here um, that... Uh, you know, I, that, that covers everything, actually. Um, I apologize for the noise outside, but you know kids, they just keep yelling. So I will, I do have a couple of other videos to produce. Uh, I've got a collab with Manga Common coming up. And there is a very secret project that I am working on right now with a bunch of friends that will be, um, I'm hoping, pretty awesome. But that won't be on my channel. It's going to be on the Secret Rift channel. So make sure you just subscribe over to the Secret Rift channel before, um, uh, beforehand so that you'll know when it comes out. All right, this has been Dulcet Tone, and always keep theorizing. You just might wind up right. Thank you for watching.